Have you ever wondered what life would be like if you had complete control over your time? You don't have a boss to answer to, no menial, meaningless tasks draining your life away. You have all the time in the world to do what you love to do, but realize you have no time management skills whatsoever, set overly ambitious goals that are impossible to achieve, and you're constantly stressed and overwhelmed despite having no real responsibilities or deadlines in life. What? <laughs> Hello, I'm Evelyn. I don't actually know how to play the ukulele and my cat hates it. I'm 29 years old and I just quit my job to become a content creator full time. In this vlog, I'm gonna show you a week in my life where I finish editing and posting a vlog. I'm trying to figure out how to structure my day now that I have complete control over my time and how I learn to manage the business aspects of my career as a creator. Or so I try. Hey guys, it's Monday. My main objective today is to finish adding music to the what I spend in a week video, which is the longest video I have ever made. And it's my first time using epidemic sound. So I am preparing for this to take a really long time. Also in a couple of hours, I wanna go out and take some Instagram photos. I actually went out earlier in the day to scout out some spots that would be nice for photos. I am scrolling on Instagram for photo ideas. I think I wanna try to do something like this, but with books. And this is a really cute photo too. I just had a very big lunch. I'm really regretting it. I've always felt like such an imposter on Instagram because I feel like it's so focused on aesthetics and I'm not a model. I don't live the life that I see on other people's Instagram. But I find stories and reels to be a really great way to share my life with you without taking 20 or 30 hours to edit a full video, which most of the time still takes me more than a week. So recently I started thinking of being aesthetic as a skill. If a photo looks good, what makes it look good? What can I learn from its composition, lighting, and use it for my photos. I still can't pose for photos, so I just take videos on my camera and then take screenshots. I feel like my posture is so bad. If you're thinking of starting Instagram or YouTube, um, I feel a bit intimidated. Think of it as a skill that can be learned and trust that it definitely gets better with practice. I'm sweating. <laughs> There's so many people staring at me. I'm too self-conscious to continue filming here. Okay, I think we're gonna pack up. Clouds are so pretty today. I spent the rest of the day really struggling to add music to the what I spend in a day video so you're welcome for the time lapse. Usually I find music from the description boxes of YouTubers I like and I have a few favorite artists on thematic that I always go back to but today I'm using epidemic sound for the first time and I'm still getting used to the search filters. I'm looking for like a chill day at home sort of energy. No 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 no. I think they're finding the right filters. Romantic indie pop instrumentals. I ended up finishing adding music to 25% of the video on Monday instead of all of it as I planned just to give you an idea of how off my estimates were but this morning I'm much faster so we're celebrating the small victory of learning from my mistakes yesterday. We're so close! We're on day seven out of the week and at the end of the video there's like seven minutes of talking head so that's just gonna be one song. It's like a matcha of the day. It's 3 p.m. I just finished adding music. This is what the video looks like before adding titles and effects. I'm gonna pack up and go to a coffee shop to reply to some emails because I need to change of scenery. <laughs> I recently started getting business inquiries from brands, so crazy enough, replying to emails and negotiating deals are now new additions to my days as a creator. But to be honest, I have no idea how to do it. No one told me I had to be my own HR, legal, marketing, and finance teams. I guess that's what it takes to run your own business. I'm absolutely terrified of the administrative part of it, but I actually quite like the business aspect of being a content creator because brand campaign are essentially marketing campaigns and I think marketing should be about bridging the gap between what we need and what can help us not trying to sell us what we don't need like if you're not looking for a serious relationship don't use coffee meets bagel who is kindly sponsoring today's video I get it people use dating apps for different reasons and we should be respectful of that but nothing is more frustrating than wasting time swiping through countless people who don't want the same thing as you I feel like in today's dating culture we're all under so much pressure to play it casual, play it cool. But if that's not what you want, it's exhausting. What's not exhausting is when Dave and I first met, it was very clear from the get-go that we're both into serious relationships. So he pursued me. Or if you ask him, I pursued him. 
But our intentions are very clear and aligned, and I'd say it's been working out pretty well. <laughs> On Coffee Meets Bagel, 91% of daters are looking for serious relationships, and 96% of daters actually intend to go on dates with their matches. Like they're not lurkers hiding behind the comfort of a phone screen, seeking validation from matches, but lack the emotional vulnerability to risk rejection by making real human connections on dates. So if you're looking for a serious relationship like me and Dave's, check out my link in the description to download Coffee Meets Bagel. Uh, I feel very well rested. I'm going to start this morning by planning out my day. My biggest goal today is to finish editing the What I Spent in a Day video. It's a bit of a stretch goal because we're done with adding music. Before uploading, we still need to add subtitles and titles and effects, thumbnail and upload. And like the artwork and titles and effects is really complicated for this one. I'm hoping to get the titles and effects done in four hours. And then I want to spend a couple of hours planning out this current video that I'm filming, which is kind of a weird idea, but. I've been planning my vlogs as I go these days and it's kind of working for me. to spend at least $40 on salads per month to come out ahead. It's a pretty heavy list. I have officially ran out of angles to film myself working from the same corner, but before I bore you completely, I assigned myself an active break today, which is to wallpaper the kitchen! I don't know if you can relate, but I feel like without appointments and calls filling off my calendar, I end up wasting a lot of time deciding what to do in between tasks. So today I decided when I get tired of editing, I'll go wallpaper the kitchen. No brainer. I think it's looking pretty sleek. <laughs> Good afternoon, let's not even pretend it's morning. <laughs> My tripod just broke when I was filming. That was another half an hour wasted on the tripod. I think I need two to three hours to finish editing. Let's see how off <laughs> my estimates are this time. It's 8.45 p.m. I just finished adding all the titles. Gonna spend hopefully only a little bit of time color correcting and then I'm gonna post this for you guys. What have I done to myself? It's 1.30 a.m. I just posted a video. I just finished editing what I spent in a week, right? So for every expense, I've captured it on a receipt and this is the number of receipts I have made. The day after I post is usually when I try to get my life together. I'm cleaning up the media files from my laptop as usual and did some laundry because it's been raining for the past two weeks and today is like the first day clothes can actually dry. And for those of you who are wondering how my plants are doing, all three pots of my basil passed away. During the post-mortem, it was uncovered the cause of death was repotting, but their families decided not to prosecute. Going to the Apple Store to pick up a new phone for Dave. <laughs> I think a lot of these people outside are like trying to resell their iPhones. I've actually been feeling quite stressed lately, just constantly feeling the pressure of like having to film myself. Now that I'm working for myself, I feel the immense pressure to make every minute productive because if I'm not productive, I'm wasting my own time. Lately, Dave has been having to like drag me out to do fun things because 
I refuse to not work. New iPhone! And now I'm poor forever. I feel like this constant pressure on myself to work is so unhealthy. I guess one thing that's nice about working a job before smartphones is once you leave the office, that is your cutoff for work. But now I feel like with IM emails installed on our phones, and for those of us who are working for ourselves, it's really difficult to shake this pressure of constantly having to work. Since I've quit my job, I have been able to put out more videos, but I've definitely also fallen victim of Parkinson's law where I've let my creative work expand to fill the time it's allotted, which is all my time right now. So I would like to reclaim my life, limit my work to eight hours a day or 10 hours a day. And instead of using every possible minute in my life to work, I wanna work on making the limited time that I do set aside for work more productive. Next time I'll have the amount of tea. I started a new book last night when I couldn't fall asleep. I've always wanted to read Sylvia Plath and I'm like nine pages in before I fell asleep. This is the story of Esther Greenwood, an intern who's working for New York Fashion Magazine in 1953. Okay, now. We've got a van. It's looking very, very good. Watch out! Oh. <laughs> I usually take a couple of hours every Sunday to plan out the next week. But when I try to film it, I realize that I don't really have a good system for it. So I will share that with you once I figure out a system that would actually be helpful to you. But I do have a few productivity takeaways this week that I will start implementing to post more videos and be more consistent here for you guys. And hopefully some of these tips will be helpful for you too. First things first, I wanna start front loading my day. I noticed my uploads are usually delayed when I have days in a week where I don't edit at all. So I want to make sure to edit for at least two hours every day before noon non-negotiable so even if things get in the way later on in the day i can still reliably finish editing a video in about a week's time i also want to start estimating each task and start time blocking knowing my tendency to let work expand to fill my entire day i want to start implementing structures in my day i've actually tried making a schedule for myself on google calendar but it never works for me because i'm so bad at estimating the amount of time it takes me to finish a task so for the next couple of weeks i want to start estimating the amount of time it'll take me to complete each task and block time on my calendar for the amount of time it actually takes me to complete it so that I can train myself with data like a machine learning model and get better at estimating so that I can eventually make a schedule I can actually stick to. Lastly, I want to take more active breaks. I actually have a huge backlog of tasks every single month in my planner that never get done and it's quite frustrating because those are things that I actually want to do like building a website and I got this watercolor kit uh, the other day and I'm really excited to learn to watercolor even though I'm like three years late to the trend <laughs> but I never start on these things because in my mind each task takes like hours of dedicated time to complete but recently I learned about something called the McDonald's habit from Ali Abdel's video where you can take small bits of time, like the seven minute it takes you to wait for your friend to show up at McDonald's to make seven minutes of progress on your creative work. And I think that echoes very nicely with taking smaller active breaks, which I really enjoyed doing this week. So moving forward, I wanna start taking more active breaks to tackle my pending tasks <laughs> bit by bit instead of thinking of each task as a huge block of dedicated work. Okay, I'm 
bored of myself talking. If you're still here, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up to help me get discovered. And subscribe if you want to see a random stranger on the internet try to do what she loves for a living. She might make it big on YouTube one day. She might have her dreams shattered and fade into obscurity. You will never know if you never subscribed. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye. I love the bell jar so much. Silva Plath puts into words the struggles of a young woman like no one else does. She is such a relatable writer. Whenever I'm sad, I'm going to die. Or so nervous, I can't sleep. Or in love with somebody I won't be seeing for a week. I slump down just so far and then I say, I'll go take a hot bath.